today we will be discussing about the plant tissues so before that we already know about the cells its the structure its functions etc so what is the same means it is the structural and functional unit of the life in case of a uh, single cell organism the same cell is doing all kinds of functions like respiration etc like uh, in case of a bacteria in case of a fungi etc now in case of a multi cell organism for example say humans so a single cell cannot do all kinds of functions and therefore there should be a groupism now a group of cells to do a similar kind of a functions they form a tissue for example bone cells now a group of bone cells they mix together they group together to form a bone tissue similarly the cells that are going to form the skins they group together and form a skin tissue a group of tissues will combine together to form an organ for like the bone tissues they group together to form an uh, form a bone and the skin tissues will uh, group together to form the skin so now the group of organs will uh, club together to form a organ system like you have uh, a bone you have uh, muscles you have uh, blood you have a skin so these all club together will form our hands legs etc so they that becomes an organ system and then multiple such organ systems will club together to uh, get an entire organism a body of the organism so this picture will tell you that multiple cells are going to form a tissue multiple tissues are going to form an organ multiple such organs are going to form an organ system and the multiple such organ systems are going to form an organism so we will be today we will be discussing about this tissue this is our focus area today for today and we will be discussing about the plant tissues plant tissues are two divided into two categories one is meristematic tissues the other is permanent tissues the meristematic tissues they are comprised of cells that are actively dividing themselves why because these meristematic cells are seen in stem and roots because they have to grow in this diagram the meristematic tissues are they are in the tips of the roots these are meristematic tissues because they will increase in uh, numbers and they will increase in size this tissues will go on increasing in their size and similarly here also it will it is going to on on uh, increasing the length has to go on increase so therefore here also meristematic tissues are also present so meristematic tissues this uh, very nature is they comprise of actively dividing cells because they want to increase in their size so how the uh, structural nature of these cells will be always small they will be small in size because they will continuously dividing themselves and they will remain as very very small and they will be their nuclear size will be relatively bigger because they don't have enough time to have plenty of cytoplasm or the juice portion of the cell so they will have a larger nuclear size compared to their size so these are the nature of the meristematic cells so basically they will increase in uh, their uh, numbers billions billions of uh, cells will get created and that will help in increasing the size of the tree both in terms of uh, stem has to in elongate and the roots has to elongate so they will be found in mostly in the tip of the stem and roots coming to the permanent cells these permanent cells are normally this uh, remain at the same size for their 
life period because they are normally do not grow in size they are mostly used used for storing of food protection of the plant from external environment and sub giving the support to the plants so mostly these are divided into two categories one is one is simple permanent tissues another is complex permanent tissues this simple permanent tissues will be again further uh, will be used for protection protective tissues and these are and supportive tissues so these protective tissues are mainly found in epidermis for example you have uh, you have the leaf so on top of the leaf if you have this is the leaf on top of the leaf you have the signing material the signing material is called epidermis this normally when you put a drop of water on the leaf it will not stick it will try to float and try to drain out of the leaf so that is the epidermis the topmost layer the smooth layer of the uh, leaf and that is normally the protective tissues and they belong to the simple category of tissues they are simple permanent tissues now supportive tissues they are divided into three categories one is the parenchyma then you have uh, second is the cholenchyma then you have the sclerenchyma yeah so you have parenchyma you have cholenchyma and sclerenchyma these are your supportive tissues inner part of the potatoes or vegetables or fruits like apple which is pretty soft the, they are made up of a parenchyma kind of tissues now what if it is then cholenchyma cholenchyma is a little bit thicker thicker than your parenchyma and they are used for support